said it was Wednesday? I'm yeah. going live? Okay. Yeah. Hi guys, how you doing? Um, it is Wednesday, we're halfway through the week. Um, this talk is actually gonna be relatively quick. We're gonna be um, doing some things in regards to... Oh, shit, hold on one second. Um... Let's just do that real quick, just so we're ready. Uh, what am I opening up? Switch your cast. Yeah. Okay, we good? Yeah, we should be. Okay, so let me, back, where was I? Um, so while the team's setting up the, the cast to make sure you guys can see my screen, uh, today's talk is really about how do you as an organization, brand, even an individual, set up your budget for your calendar year? As in month over month, what should you sp be spending, how much, where, all that. Now there's a lot of things that I can't really answer without knowing more about your business, but I'm gonna give you kind of a broad template that you could use to help you plan accordingly. Um, it really breaks it down month by month based on what I talked about a couple weeks ago was really when you're setting up your budget, there's a couple factors that are involved. Obviously your revenue, and then a couple other factors that you can decide if you're gonna go aggressive or not aggressive, safe, or what have you. Um, but today's really tutorial is, I'm using Google Sheets to kind of set up some line items, tactical, um, strategy, uh, tactical elements that you could do as an agency to fulfill your strategy. So with that said, we're gonna get right into it. Uh, with one thing I did wanna mention is that the first thing you really need to do is set up what your revenue is. So I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit. Screen sharing, everything good? We're good. Okay, um, so you first need to know your revenue. Um, I'm gonna set the revenue as a default to three million, okay, per year as a company. Now, it might be way less, it might be way more, it just depends on what you have going on as an organization. Larger organizations, they're gonna have very different budgets than you, and that's fine. If you're a startup and you're funded, you might really wanna make a conscious decision to say, hey, we're gonna spend a lot more because we really need to get into this market, and there's a barrier to entry that we need to spend a minimum of X, and we don't have that yet, we have the funding available to get us into this market. I don't always like that strategy, but sometimes that's what's needed to get into a new market. Um, okay, so with that said, I set up a very broad kind of template here, and that is really revenue three million, and I can change it, I'm gonna change it actually throughout the, uh, the demo to show you, but three million dollars in revenue, 10%, uh, let me zoom out just a bit, 10% of revenue is an easy calculation, your budget, uh, normal base budget, not aggressive, not safe, or I call it start a lot, is that it would be 300,000. Obviously, if we can do very simple math, 3 million, 10% of that is 300,000. Now, when you spread that out over a month, it equals around, give or take, 25,000 a month. It, I always wanna be careful when I say this, because really, if you're a new company, you should be spending more than 10%. If you're an established brand, been around you know, 10, 20, 30, five decades long, you can spend less because of the fact you're already, your, your brand is very well established. It does not mean you need to lay back on your creative executions and what you're doing in the marketplace to get your name still out there and saying, hey, we're still doing things, we're still a leader in our, in our specific industry. Um, there's a couple other things that you notice and that is industry. <laughs> um, if you are in a tough, highly competitive industry, you might wanna add in some percentage points. I always say, you know, depending on the industry, you can add three to five points. If we add in five points, it will calculate and update this to 450,000. So you can add right then and there with, a, with our calculator, you can add a simple amount. If you say, hey, our reach, we're not just gonna be local, we wanna actually go national, I'd say add in 3% to add, increase your ad dollars and your, your uh, potential marketing spend more. Um, so you can kind of see that this did update this number for your normal budget. I didn't put in the calculations for uh, safe or a start or an aggressive um, because that's just, you'd want to talk to us about, hey, how aggressive do you want to be? I'm always a little bit aware of that, that isn't a, a potential for aggression marketplace that you can get into. Or is it better to just be normal or even safe and then grow, you know, as you see growth, then adjust. Um, and then here's where you can still manually enter your monthly budget. So you have the calculation right above you. When I added in the both industry and reach, I added in those additional percentage points and it said, hey, now it's up to 45,000 a month. Um, but really you can put in whatever you like based on what makes sense for your organization brand. I'm gonna get rid of both industry and reach and we're gonna say, hey, we're just gonna focus on a traditional, you know, I'm gonna say local, maybe regional um, spend and we're gonna keep it at 25K. 
Now this is where it gets a little complicated and fun is that then you have a monthly spend in a sense, hey, what are we gonna be spending on a month to month, quarter to quarter basis? What's nice about this is it breaks down literally January, February, March, April, May, June, quarter one, quarter two, as far as what you should be spending on what. And I'm gonna zoom in here on some of these elements just so you can see. So you can see, okay, on, on advertising, and again, based on your tactics, these will change, but on advertising, we're gonna say Google ad spend, 3,000 a month. It might be, hey, you need to spend a lot more based on your industry. But again, that's where you wanna talk with someone in the marketing space uh, so we can help you align with what you should be spending. Uh, social, content, email marketing, all the different elements. And again, there might be some where you have to put a lot toward video. I, I think video is a huge element that I did not include. I always think it should be at least 3% of your budget should be going toward video. So, but again, I did not include that in there. This is really for placeholder and for example purposes only. Uh, but what I like about this is it does break down your, your monthly spend. It also breaks down your quarterly spend. And as I, I scroll down here, you can see when I put in 25,000 here based on this tab, if I jump back, let's just say based on this, let's go uh, instead of 300,000, let's say, you know what, we're only gonna suggest we spend 7%. Okay, so that makes a 17.5. So I'm gonna change this to 17.5. I'm just gonna follow what the calculator's telling me. I like the human element, don't always listen to calculators, but I like the human element. I changed it to 17.5 on that first tab, and throughout this entire tab, our monthly budget was updated and quarterly budget was updated automatically. So you don't have to worry about, oh, now I need to go everywhere here and update. No, the only thing really you need to update is on a month to month tracker basis, what you're spending, what your budgets align. If you're a marketing agency, you can kind of have them help you, guide you on what you should be spending per month. But the idea is that then you can see, okay, here's what we're actually gonna be budgeted for and spend, and here's what we have budgeted and set aside for that month. Um, and you can see the calculation works out. Okay, in January it was bad because we had some setup and some planning, some news, new elements, I think there's a new custom dev here, there's a sequencing that need to be done with the emails. So there's a little bit additional, but again, our budget was 17.5, we went over a bit, but then the next month, those things weren't needed. So our budget, in a sense, self-aligned. So our budget for the entire quarter is 52,000 based on 17,000 a month, yet really we, we're, we're good, we're under budget, as in we're, we're aligning with 46,000 in spend. So we have a remainder of around 6,000. Um, I actually would say that's a good um, gap to have is around the five to 6,000 range. But you can see it all spreads out the entire year, your budget of what you could spend. Um, I do recommend talking with someone in the marketing space, whether it's us or whether it's you know any agency to help you make sure, hey, does this look right? Do, do my numbers line up? Because this can be very confusing. It can be something that if you need help, talk to us, we can help you with whether it's your reach or how aggressive you wanna be and make sure that you're lining up appropriately. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to any of us up on the screen. As always, you have my contact information. I really appreciate you joining us on this Wednesday Tech Talk and have a great rest of your week.